Remember the time that George St. Pierre completely slapped the crap out of a Bantamweight fighter? Not enough people do. And if you're one of those people, I'm going to refresh your memory right now. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Fight Dialogue. My name is Tim. So if you follow this channel, you'll know that obviously I'm a huge fight fan, but I'm also a pretty big history nerd as well. So I'm starting this series in order to take a look at some of the crazier moments in the sport that have been forgotten or have just gone a little bit underappreciated. So first, let me give you a little bit of context about this moment. The Bantamweight that GSP fought was a guy by the name of Ivan Menjivar. Ivan spent a large portion of his career at featherweight and lightweight, but at least eight of his 37 career fights did take place at Bantamweight. Menjivar had a pretty crazy career that spanned a dozen different promotions and four different weight classes. He was mostly known for his slick submission skills. But how in the world did these two guys end up fighting? Well, at the time of their meeting, which took place January 25th, 2002 in Montreal, Canada, GSP was actually making his pro debut. Ivan is an El Salvadorian that immigrated to Canada and was 4-0 in his career, so he was a pretty strong regional talent. I have no idea why he thought it was a good idea to fight at 170 back then, but you gotta respect him for stepping into the cage against a younger and much larger man. So the action starts and right away they get after each other. Menjivar gets pretty aggressive with his grappling and at one point almost manages to slam St. Pierre. A few moments later, Ivan finally does score a takedown. He nearly takes GSP's back and then when they finally do settle into an open guard position, Menjivar lands some nice ground and pound. Then the fight gets stood up, no idea why, and a short brawl ensues. This time GSP ends up taking down Ivan and landing some good ground and pound strikes of his own. It was a very back and forth fight and it didn't seem like it would last much longer because of it being such a high pace. Finally, George landed a good combination that put Ivan down. The follow-up shots were pretty devastating, but right as it looked like Ivan was going to survive, the ref jumps in and waves off the fight. I don't know what was said afterwards, but I thought it was a pretty bad stoppage. Not that that's any of GSP's fault. It was a short but wild fight, and even though the ending was a little weird, Menjivar still did well and fought hard. For St. Pierre, it was the first of many wins. So we all know, of course, George would go on to become a legend in the sport, becoming the two-time welterweight champ with a record-breaking amount of defenses. After relinquishing the belt and a four-year hiatus, he would return for one final fight to claim the UFC middleweight belt. Ivan's career was, of course, nowhere near as successful, but make no mistake about it, he was a fantastic martial artist that fought the who's who of MMA. He would go on to share the cage with Hatsu Hiyoki, Wilson Hayes, Cal Uno, and future champs such as Matt Serra and Uriah Faber, who he actually fought twice. Menjivar even had wins against Hideo Tokoro, a young Joe Lozon, and he would earn two submission of the night victories during his UFC stint. He would end his career with a respectable 25 and 12 record and the knowledge that he welcomed one of the greatest fighters ever into the sport. So that pretty much does it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoy the new series. If you have a crazy moment in MMA history that you want me to bring back up, let me know in the comments. Whenever I do a new series like this, I put it on the Patreon first. So if you want to get early access to that, check out the Patreon. As always, make sure to like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching. Take care. Thank you.